Hey guys, this is Jedi Jesse ninety six. Here's another uh, Lego Transformers review. It's actually my first Bionicle Transformer. Yay! I guess uh, it is entirely made out of Bionicle pieces. No Lego bricks. Um, and yeah, it does have someone very special. It is Revenge of the Fallen. The Fallen. Yeah. Enough of the dramatic voice. Yeah, this was made in about 20 minutes, maybe. I was bored. I made it out of all bound pieces, like I said. And now I'm bored again. Well, actually, I'm just still bored. So I'm making a video of it. Yay! Um, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much him in Cybertron Jet mode. Cybertronian Jet mode, whatever. I think it's Cybertronian Jet. I don't really know. No one really knows yet, because the movie hasn't come out. And I'm waiting for it to come out. Michael Bay, bring out the movie already. Come on. God, we can't wait any longer. Well, at least I can. Anyway, um, yeah, you can see the wings here. You can already see the head. Um, there's the cockpit. Um, he doesn't really have any thrusters. I guess you can call the feet thrusters or something. Um, he has a weapon. It doesn't attach to his vehicle mode in any way, sadly. But it, he can, of course, hold it in robot mode. So, it's good enough. And he also can't... Uh, stand up very well in jet mode, as you can see. He's kind of, like, wobbling all over the place. Um, but yeah, that's him. Quick size comparison next to my mini-movie Lego Bumblebee. Uh, you can see he's quite a bit bigger. Um, yeah, I kind of like... Uh, the mix red and, like, there's still a lot of black, but it's mainly, like, red, because it's supposed to be, like, flamey. Flame on! Sorry, just had to say that. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty much it. To transform it, it's pretty involved. Not really, but, yeah. Um, first what you do is you flip out the arms, which attach to the legs, kind of, to make the wings, fold those out, flip up the feet, fold down the legs, um, and yeah, you can see his feet are turned the wrong way, so you rotate them along with the whole body. Uh, actually, you just flip around the whole body, but you actually rotate the feet 180 degrees. Um, yeah, that's a legs. Stands moderately well. Uh, after that, you can take the cockpit, flip it up, rotate it. Kind of sticks out like that, but whatever. Then you rotate the arms. Yes, that is Legends of Zelda. Ocarina, Ocarina of Time, sorry, I can't talk today. In the background, my sister's playing it in the other room. Yay! I love that game. Anyway, uh, you rotate the arms down, flip the hands down, rotate the other arm down, rotate the other uh, fist down, flip up the head, rotate it. Actually, you rotate the neck piece like so. And there you have the fallen in robot mood. Uh, kind of like the Voyager toy. He is pretty small. Well, actually, not really small, but he's not that big in robot or vehicle mode, but in robot mode, he is huge. As you can see, he's very, very tall. Um, yeah, so here it is next to my mini-movie Bumblebee again in robot mode. Yeah, you can see how sad that is. Uh, you can see how big the Fallen is compared to him. He's just huge compared to Bumblebee. Yeah, uh, Bumblebee is probably like, Oh my god! Ah! It's gonna turn into Wheelie. Um, yeah, his secret weapon is a flame sword that you can put into his hand. Let's put it right in there. He has a sword. He's like, ready to slice people. He doesn't actually have that on the toy, but I thought it would be a cool little addition. 
because he kind of needs a weapon. Well, actually, not really, because he can just, like, punch people or something. I don't really know. But I thought it'd be cool to add a sword that you can't really take out of his hand that easily. And I just killed him. <laughs> um, yeah, he's very poseable. Two points at the neck, can rotate and all that. Uh, you can rotate the arms, go out, bend at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the wrist, bend at the wrist. So you can go forward and back, bend at the knee, rotate 360 degrees at the uh, foot, pivot at the foot. And yeah, he's very, very articulated, as most bionicle toys are. So you can put him in some really, really awesome poses. So, yeah, like that. Um, I probably won't be making instructions for him, because he's pretty complicated. But, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's pretty cool, and thank you for watching, and this is Jedi Vision 96.